classic car enthusiasts. Uh, so, just uh, a little update. We've uh, got the shell finished, which I'll show you in the video. It should be fairly short, a fairly quick video. Um, we'll probably let it uh, harden up for a couple of days before we move it up to the main garage. Um, and then we can start reassembling it. I've been to a place today which is about, uh, I don't know, about seven kilometers from here, about five miles or so, who will do the orange stripe over the bonnet and the boot and uh, the um, over the car, basically the orange uh, golf stripe with the two black coach lines down it as well. They also can make me golf um, uh, stickers to go on the car in the same orange and, and, and add different things to it. Hopefully there won't be any copyright issues. Um, so, but they can't do it for two weeks. So I'll do a video of that. They can actually come to my garage to put them on, um, uh, to put the stickers on and, and put the orange bit on. So it'll be a couple of weeks because they're a bit busy at the moment. But by the time we put the car back together, it'll probably be that anyway. Um, okay, and one last little thing. Um, a little tip um, for Italy. IMM Italy uh, 2021, um, there are six people uh, going, um, including myself. So it is uh, Tom Shorrock, uh, Mark Shorrock, his dad, Paul Jeffries, uh, Sean Coyle, um, and Amir, who works with me here, uh, and myself. So there's six of us going. And we were trying to rent a camper van on site, which it, it, they're quite expensive for what they are. Uh, and I tried looking at a rental of a van and we drive it down there, you know, close to Florence. Um, but most of them want a week, a minimum, or even to even 10 days. So that wasn't going to work out. Um, and I spoke with Mark Shorrock last night and he put me onto this Airbnb. And I've just booked and paid for a, a three bedroom, it's like a small villa, it's got a courtyard, everything. Um, and it's, you know, it's a 10 kilometer journey to IMM in the mornings and coming back at night. Um, kitchen, two bathrooms, three bedrooms, big lounge, little, little courtyard, perfect. Um, and for 335 euro for the six of us. So 50 quid each for the week, for the weekend. Um, I mean, what can you get for 50 pounds? Certainly not three nights in Tuscany, you wouldn't have thought. So a little tip for anybody, if, if you're deciding you're gonna go, um, and also the airfares the guys got from Manchester and from Scotland uh, were unbelievably good. Um, I, I believe there were just over a hundred pounds uh, to Vienna and back. Um, and I think uh, Sean got an even better deal, well under a hundred pounds. I can't remember exactly, I think 70, 80 pounds, unbelievable. But that's because they're booking them now. And obviously, you know, it's quite a while to Italy IMM. Hopefully everything is okay by then which I think it should be, we took it over 10 months away. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you like the track car, um, the color and how it's finished. Um, and we'll do some updates when we start putting it together and I'll definitely do the filming while the guys put the orange stripe on it because I really think that will make it, uh, it pop with the orange on it and all the decals and things that are going on it. And as I said, in the, as I say in the video, if you have a sticker or um, a YouTube site or whatever, um, and you'd like to have it on the car, um, then you know I'm not I'm not doing sponsorship. Obviously, it's our it's uh, it's myself and uh, Yosef's hobby. It's just a hobby car. Um, but if you want to have the sticker put on, you're more than welcome. Just drop me an email at davejagu 66 at gmail.com and I'll give you the address to send the sticker to if you would like to have it on. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video. Take care. So, here we are. It's almost like that's a different colour, that blue and stuff. It's not the same, I can assure you. It's the light in here. And they are, that's how it looks. Not very nice. The reason we actually use this shell for, for this uh, uh, to 
build this track day car was <clears throat> when I got the, bought the two shells, it was a, as a Mark III at the back, which I'm going to build into a shell and sell on as, as a completed Mark III. New wings, new front, there's a quarter panel to go on and some other things. And we'll put it in primer and then sell it with the subframes and the engine and what have you, but for somebody to put together. So it's a 1970, I have the logbook for it. I have the logbook for this car, this is a 74. And at some point somebody had put this roof on it. Uh, I don't know why, whether, <coughs> whether the roof was damaged or whatever. Um, and it had this sunroof in it, a glass one, which we ended up putting a piece of aluminium in it. Um, and it was quite bad where it had been welded down the side. It was quite bad. You, the, there was a lot of us where they'd done plug welds on it to put it on. So I thought, well, it's a perfect opportunity to use it for a, a, a track, track day car. But the colour, I think you agree. I mean, it's made a brilliant job of it. There's a bit of dust in it. Unfortunately, a little fly there. But we'll wait until it dries up and get that off. And, uh, yeah, so there we go. It's, you can see it better there. The colour's probably better there with the daylight. It's really, looks great. I'm well pleased with it. Um, yeah, it's come out much better than I thought. There's a few bits and pieces here and there, you know, it's not, uh, it's not a show car, it's a track day car, so... But, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Nice finish on it, and when the arches are done, these are the Miglier arches that will go on it. Uh, the boot's done, that's the aluminium roof, but we have to work out some kind of um, mechanism for that to hinge it. So the idea is, is when we're doing a cool down lap, slowing down, uh, we can hinge it open and let some air in um, into the car. Although well, that could be an issue with the um, polycarbonate rear window. There might be a little too much pressure. We'll have to have a see. So I've got polycarbonate windows to go all the way around, apart obviously from the front windscreen. Um, and uh, yeah. But I think once that orange stripe's on there, it's going to really. Like we're, talking, we're thinking about maybe 30 centimetres across. The whole car, uh, and I found a place near to me that can come actually to the garage, to the top garage, and put it on for us. So once we've got the front painted and the bonnet and everything, uh, they'll come up and they'll even make golf stickers for me um, with the same orange. Um, I, I was lucky enough, Randy uh, from um, from Texas sent me some big decals on it for it. So we've got big decals if we need them and uh, lots of badges so if you've got any stickers just give me a, a shout on Dave Jagger 66 if you'd like your sticker to go on the car YouTube site or whatever uh, if you want to see it on the car then send me an email on davejagger 66 at gmail.com and I'll give you the address to send it to so yeah I think, uh, I think it's pretty good I can say under this light it's difficult to to see, but once it's out in the daylight, great colour though. I see. And we're probably going to use about four litres out of that six that we had. Um, so that's enough to do any touch up for uh, what we need to do. But really pleased with it. Not perfect, but um, you know, as I say, it's a track day car. There's a bugger with that fly, right? It would have to be there. If it was down there, it wouldn't matter because it, the wheel arch would cover it. But that's the way it is, I guess. You know, we've not got a proper paint booth facility. We've done it in here. So. <clears throat> but he's made a great job of it. I'm well impressed. 